Well, it's quite an honor to be named the U.S. Poet Laureate, and I'm just at the very beginning. So what I'm in the what I'm doing is assessing uh, the the most how I can be most useful in this position, and of course, it's going to have a lot to do with uh, Native poets, Native Nations poets. Um, I just with a huge team, we just finished editing a Norton anthology of Native poetry, but it's also about, of course, American poetry and American voices, which is really, you know, how we sing the American story. And that involves all of the voices. I keep thinking of a poetry ancestor tree. And you have all the makings of it in here at the Academy of American Poets with all these books and, and, and so on. But, you know, I mean, how would you construct that? I always, tell my, I always tell my students about poetry ancestors that every poem has so many poetry ancestors and and so how could we construct a poetry ancestor map of america that would include and start off with poetry of indigenous nations now we would start there and those those strands continue into the very present with wonderful young native poets we have right now and but all of the there's so many i guess what strikes me is the diversity the diversity of native poetry which was here and is here and is still growing and the diversity of american poet which poetry which has roots all over the world there's a root system that's connected all over the americas which is one body and all over the world you would find those roots connecting so it would have something to do with that i have no idea how that would work but that's, those are two of the ideas. The one with native poetries is like saying, yes, we are here, we're humans. There was a study done recently by a group called the Illuminative, run by Crystal Echohawk, that gathered data. It was a study, there's never been a study like this with the Kellogg, it was funded by the Kellogg Foundation to uh, look at images of native, our indigenous peoples, native nations people, and say, you know, what are these images? What, what is our, the perception of us in this country? And what was startling was that a large percentage of Americans thought we still had, were questionable about our humanness. So ultimately, poetry, you know, poetry is, I think of poetry as soul talk, as it carries, they're like little increments of it carry you can carry all kinds of time in one poem you know you can carry several pieces of stories in one poem several countries in a poem can it can exist together peacefully in a poem and so i think of how poetry enables us to maybe to shift our images of each other and to listen you cannot write poetry if you don't listen and that is that's probably one of my biggest need, you know, lessons in this life is learning how to listen. And poetry has been teaching me that. I'm not done by no means. It's always, you're always learning. But it's like we can, with our poetry, we can listen to each other. And so how does that translate with, you know, the American public? We all, we all need to, you know, we're, we're, it's a diverse, a healthy, but ecosystem is a system of diversity. That's the same thing in poetry, in different poetry streams. It's the same thing with peoples in a country. So somehow I would like to pull all that. I've, you know, we have a lot, we all, we have a lot of work to do, all of us. So. <laughs>